everybody. You've, if you've been watching with us live, you'd have already witnessed the wonderful 147 from Ding. And now we have the icing on the cake. As Mark Johnson and the MC just mentioned, the world's number one. Cameras away now, game's please. Greatest the first player. frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. This is going to be Ronnie O'Sullivan's first real test in this tournament. Always breaks off left-handed these days. One. I think Mark Selby is well aware that his long pot and has got to be good against Ronnie Sullivan because. Perhaps not that time, but if you had a miss hit that and can't in the ready room in leaving a Sullivan in the balls. Because in the uh, safety duels, uh, Mark doesn't normally leave you much on. Big match, Willie, biggest one in the tournament Three. so far. Certainly the biggest one for Ronnie. Ronnie's been quite favourable with the draw in the opening three games. Mark Selby just came through almost silently until the last game he played very well in his last game Four. not yet got in the form he was two years ago or even last year Had a bit of a quiet season not won a ranking event for two years but we all know how capable he is Nine. Just had the finishing touches to his home in the little village very near mine in Leicester where he's had a table put in. The practice will become a lot easier because they don't have time, these guys, now to practice much with the travelling they do. So when you're at home, it's nice to pinch an hour and a half, two hours sometimes. I know Terry used to have a table at his home when he was at the height of his career. Always been an avid practicer. Yes, a table at home seems like you know the best thing you've ever had in your life, first of all, but then you find out that it's not quite the same as the snooker club and there's atmosphere and players to play against. But uh, it's very handy to have one, obviously, especially like you're saying, it's 17. much busy on the circuit for the players now. They prefer to be playing a little bit at home when they want. 18. Looking good here. Yes, I talked to Mark at length uh, during his tournament play and he was mentioning the match in the Masters against Ronnie Ursulum where Ronnie beat him, I think it was 6-3. 25. And he said that uh, he did a miraculous clearance in the final frame. I think he was, uh, Mark was 70 points in front and he cleared up 26. to win 6-3 where it could have been 5-4 and he said I'd have fancied it from there. So he knows he's got to get off to a fast start and it looks like he's doing just that. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Well, he hasn't got the silky smooth kick action of Ronnie or Sullivan, but he gets the job done, Mark Selby. He can score up there with the best of them. a little bit short for the desired red 41. but has in break building you always play for choice of reds you play for a choice there we can still get through the gap for the black a little wry smile from Ronnie in the background there he knows that break off was not good 42. enough left that long red on but so we potted Forty-nine. Fifty. 
Well, we've had breaks of 140 this afternoon, a 147, a 120. Never ending. Fantastic play. A little bit short again this time. 57. Fifty-eight. Ronnie lost the first frame against Parry, Parry Pinches. Lost the first 65. frame against Lou Sixty-five. Sixty-six. Obviously, now like losing the first frame against Mark Selby. Mark oh, Selby, Ronnie Selby. Ronnie will carry on, but barring snookers, Selby will have taken the opening frame. Settled. Amazing how he started slow in three of his first four matches and then went on fire for the rest of the matches. One. Eight. Sixteen. Seventeen. Twenty-four. Thirty. Thirty-one. Ronnie O'Sullivan this Selby time in mixed defeat. A good performance from Selby. Started with a 71, finished with a 31. Mark Selby takes the opening frame. <laughs>